Hey everyone, the new version of CSP Preview from Ilya should be released over the next few days but I've been lucky enough to get my hands on a preview of that preview and today I'm going to go through it with you and show you all the new cool features and I think you're going to be pretty blown away. So just for reference this is 180 Preview 334 that I'm going to be looking at today but obviously that version will climb until it's finally released to public. Big thank you to Ilya and everybody involved with CSP for letting me take a look at this. Do remember to check out the rest of the channel. There's lots more CSP Soul Pure Guides on there. And do check out our partner Simrace247.com for all the latest motorsport and sim racing news. So then just a quick confirmation on the version that I'm looking at today. I'm not going to show you how to install it. I'll do that when it fully comes out and I'll do an install guide as I normally do. If I go into custom shader patch here, you can see 180 preview 334. As I said, that 334 will climb, but probably just bug fixes now. So all of the features that I'm going to be talking about today should be in the final public release. And I've also got to say that this is one of the biggest CSP releases I have seen. Over a hundred plus updates and fixes. Lots for you to take a look at when it's released before we get to that and get into some of the detail we've got a car and here it is this is the puma lumimari by henrik drifter and Mercedes sti this is actually a conversion from auto mobilista it's been ported over by henrique and Mercedes sti has done some finishing touches on it this is a concept car the brazilian puma it comes with 15 skins two different cars 191 brake horsepower for this one and 875 kilograms so it's really no slouch around the track and this track by the way is another prior update this is a 2022 Imola update so do check out his patreon i'll put the link in the description if you are interested in that so what are the big changes then we've got in the latest version of csp to start with then there's some really cool development on car body flex and as you can see by the little video here that's come from Ilya it shows how the car flexibility and rigidity is going to change how the grip of the car actually works just like in real life so that's absolutely fantastic there's a lot of work that's gone into that and you can see it all in the readme file rim and ground collision that's been updated and changed as well to make sure that car tires and rims don't go through surfaces car sliding prevention we've all seen the cars sliding around on grey that's going to stop now and there's a lot of work that's gone on on ground collider on wall fixes as well and there's also a number of car collision pieces that have been updated too in fact if you go into settings and go into general patch settings you can see there's a whole new section all these new tags there that allow you to add and change these different effects so I'll let you guys look at that when the final version comes out one of the other pieces that's been updated that I find really fascinating is driver physics. That's the weight of the driver moving around in the car. And you can see this on one of Ilya's videos again. This is going to be fascinating on lighter cars because that's going to have a big impact on how the car actually performs. Next up, we've got a number of updates on sparks, pieces, so that's pieces of tyres and other bits of debris and flames. They've all been updated. Smoke colour's been updated. So no longer when you're in a snow track, you're going to get brown smoke behind you. That'd be fantastic. There's also VR updates to the hood. That means that that hood is less graphically intensive, which means you're going to get more frames per second, which is always good news. Improved AI through corners. So that's in standard driving. And I think that's some experimental features that you can add there. New CPU optimized and new force feedback tweaks for dirty tires so that means if you get dirt on the tires the force feedback is going to feel different I think that's really fantastic just to reiterate at this point in the video on the readme that comes with the latest version of CSP there are over a hundred different updates and fixes so I'm only actually going to go through the main ones here the ones I've picked out but of course there will be some of the smaller fixes that change the things that you really care about so do have a real good look through the readme file when this gets released over the next few days. I just thought I'd put that video back in there so you can take a closer look at how the bodywork flexes. So do have another look at it and you can see how that flexes. That's a bit of a game changer on a set of Corsa. So more updates here. So more rain effects AI tweaks and that's on cornering. We know there's still some improvements happening there. That's really good news. Dirt on track will reduce grip. So if you've got debris on the track, on a racetrack, that will reduce the grip when you drive over it. Another fantastic addition. There's been some reshade fixes. You can now unzip and rezip files actually in the game. I'm not sure how that works yet, but it's in the readme file. Seems like that's a big deal too. 
driver shift physics we've had a look at those earlier on and as i've already said there's a hundred plus updates and fixes in this whole release and that's at 334 as i said it will go up a little bit probably before the public release so I hope you've enjoyed that video. That's a preview taster of what's going to be in the latest version of CSP, again, releasing in the next couple of days. Another big shout out to Ilya and everybody around him in the CSP team and all the testers. And thank you so much for letting me have a preview version of this preview. Thanks for all your support, guys. Thanks for watching and I'll see you all very soon.